I think I'm starting to get mild frostbite in my toes too. Um, so I'm just gonna play it safe, go scope it out a little further, and uh, my left butt cheek is killing me right now. Ah! I am in Sequoia National Forest today. It's the end of October and it's really cold up here. It's probably the last weekend before this entire area is blanketed in snow. I'm out to do some, some late season exploration, hopefully find maybe some cool secret spots that I've heard about, some natural water slides. I'm still on the hunt for natural water slides. It may be too late in the season. It may be too cold, but uh, I'm prepared. I'm geared up looking for adventure in Sequoia National Forest. I'm actually headed down past No Byung Creek Falls. If you saw my uh, Sequoia videos from earlier this year, over the summer when we were up here, um, you might remember No Byung Creek Falls is a beautiful waterfall. Somebody actually told me that further down from the falls, which I didn't go uh, beyond the falls, but they told me beyond the falls there's awesome granite pools and, and some slides, a lot of granite slick rock down there. So I'm not sure if the water's flowing, although right now I do hear I do hear water, so that's probably a good sign. But I'm down to check out this area below No Byung Creek Falls. I also came across some information that says they they canyon near that spot, so uh, I'm not gonna do anything too dangerous. I did read that if you do repel it, you can hike back up, so should be interesting. Hopefully come across awesome cool spot below No Byung Creek Falls here, and uh, hopefully the water's not too cold because I'll probably go in. That's a good sign. So I'm gonna head downstream and see if I can find these awesome granite pools and water slides. We'll see how deep it is, we'll see how cold it is, but No Beyond Creek Falls, absolutely stunning waterfall, and with the fall colors right now, really gorgeous. A cool thing about coming this time of year too is when I was down here. Uh, when I was down here over the summer, there was a lot of mosquitoes, a lot of bugs down here, but because it's so cold, no bugs to be found. I'm supposed to get up into the 50s today for a high, but the low has been in the, in the low 30s recently. So, beautiful. to the start of what I think the bowls are. We got this other falls here. And I'm not gonna go into all the details, but please take my word for it. If you don't have ropes, do not try to down climb this. It looks like from this vantage point on the right side, there's an easy down climb. No, do, I do not recommend that. So. Um, there's, I see some slick rocks a little further down, but I'm gonna try and go this way around and get down that way, but this way, way too dangerous without ropes. I'm not saying that I tried to down climb, but you should definitely not try to down climb that. Very dangerous, um, especially, I mean, right now it's low flow, so I would imagine high flow. Definitely good for canyoneering though, so I'm gonna try and Go around this way. Try to find some semblance of a deer trail or something and make my way down. I see what could be a nice little 
gradual slick rock slide right down there. So, whew, I'm a little out of breath though. I gotta catch my breath after my alleged Allegedly, I may have tried to down climb this. Allegedly, can neither confirm nor deny that though. This looks like it'd be an awesome slide right here. But there's that down tree down there. I'm gonna, I probably won't be able to move it, but I'm gonna go see how heavy it is. Cause if I can get that out of the way, first slide of the day right there. There's good news and there's bad news. The good news is I moved that tree and I'm gonna slide it. The bad news is I don't, there's no pool, so I don't know how I'm gonna stop. Um, there's no cliffs or anything, and there's a couple jagged spots, but. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh. Fuck. Oh. oh my ass. Okay. Note to self, do not slide into big logs or trees or flat ledges. It hurts your butt, it's very painful. I think I'm starting to get mild frostbite in my toes too. Um, so I'm just gonna play it safe, go scope it out a little further and uh, my left butt cheek is killing me right now. Ah, but it's just a bruise, it'll heal. A little banged up on this adventure, but still having a great time. So that water is 43 degrees. So yeah, I can understand why my toes might be feeling a little, I don't know, frostbitten. <laughs> oh man, so beautiful out here though. I think, uh, I don't think I'm gonna make it to the hot springs uh, today. Whew. Uh, it's gonna take like an hour and a half to get there. Climbing back up with my um, my bruised butt cheek uh, took a little longer than I expected. That was awesome. I think I'm gonna head up the road to Dome Rock, but uh, man, that was a fun adventure. I'm definitely tired, banged up. Tomorrow, I am taking my first uh, whitewater kayaking lesson. It's an all-day private lesson. I'm psyched to, to learn that. I want to start doing some stuff. Not, I'm going to take it slow, you know? Eventually, I want to build up to going over waterfalls in a kayak. No Bion Creek Falls, No Bion Creek. Off the beaten track for sure. Nobody's here. The water's 42 degrees, but uh, I'm going to go check out Dome Rock, I think. As I was pulling up, there's a helicopter here, the top, taking off. Couldn't get it on camera though. But uh, this is where they land the helicopter, the uh, search and rescue copter, I believe it is. But it's a big open flat area up here. So that was interesting. Chill here on the rock, catch some rays. And uh, then I'm head, heading south to Kernville. It's about 45 minutes to an hour drive for tomorrow. Learn some uh, whitewater kayaking. But uh, thanks for joining me on this adventure. Man, no Young Creek Falls. That was that was so fun. A little banged up, bruises, scrapes, nothing major. But uh, 
got it. I love getting out there. It's not too cold yet in Sequoia to, uh, to go on a little adventure, so still got a couple weeks before the snow comes, I think. So get out there, make sure you find your adventure, and always be infamous. Infamous.